guys, my name is Mia and you're watching Sincerely Nymphy. This is kind of like the Persephone spring goddess look that I'm going to be walking you guys through. Um, I'm not sure if this is a tutorial because I really don't know what I'm doing, but it's like, whatever, who cares? Um, but yeah, okay, so this look is going to be completely improvised. There's an artist named Jeezy, um, and they wanted me to like do just like listen to the song, make a video that like kind of like has that vibe, you know, like just make a video to match the vibe of the song. And I was like thinking like this kind of gives me like kind of like very like relaxing, chill, beautiful, spring goddess vibes. You know what I mean? Definitely did not want to disappoint. And they haven't seen it yet. Um, I want to make it a surprise. So with that being said, this is going to be completely improvised. I listen to the song ahead of time. I kind of know what vibe I want to go for. So we're just going to, it's definitely going to be like a pink heavy look. Okay, first things first, moisturize. It doesn't cover my face, but like I don't really need to do that. Like I can just apply it however. But yeah, moisturize. <laughs> the moisturizer that I'm using is something called hyaluronic acid. Um, and you can buy this in bulk um, online. Just don't tell anybody because once everyone starts doing it, that's when there's a high demand for it. That's when it starts becoming expensive. This is like low key my little secret. And a lot of like brands and stuff, like they'll like do like um, skin brightening skin serum, like skin moisturizer, like that only uses like a small percentage of it. This is like the actual ingredient, like this is the actual thing. And of course test and see if you're allergic, patch test it first, because you know, it might not be for you. Now I like to use it because um, I did some research. I have a skin condition um, called psoriasis. One thing that helped was this stuff. So um, yeah, give it a try. Now that my skin is nice and glowing and moisturized because I have very dry psoriasis skin, I think it's time to go in with the concealer. Right? Is that what people do? Can you tell I haven't done my makeup in a really long time? Like I've been like an absolute shut-in. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, cool. Now that my lips are nice and moisturized along with my skin, you know I'm all about Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I got a lighter version and a little, it, this one matches my skin. Obviously this matches my skin a lot better. I usually get warm sand, but medium sand was all they had. And so it does look a little bit more yellow than my natural undertones actually are. But I could add some like blushing to help match my skin a little bit better later on. So that's perfectly fine. And I'm going to be applying it with this like, I believe it's like a some sort of packing brush. See, I'm not a makeup artist, so I don't know the names of all the brushes, which is why I was having a little bit of anxiety about posting more makeup tutorials because like, to an extent, I really don't know what I'm doing. Like, but I am an artist and I know the concept of composition and colors and blending and I am a painter and that has helped me a little bit with, you know, my makeup skills. But other than that, like, I don't know what I'm doing, girl. I just practice and hope for the best. And yeah, I get better and better every year. And now I'm upgrading to using brushes to blend things in, whereas I think I used a really large brush before, but sometimes I would use like a sponge to blend, which is just not for me. And it just didn't give me that smooth look that I was looking for. Oh yeah, I'm looking cute. Get rid of those dark circles. Um, and then when you're doing concealer, yeah, obviously use like a shade lighter 
than your actual skin tone. But I am kind of gonna go over it with this too. And I also like to use concealer as foundation. Some people don't like to. I like to do it. It's a lot, it's, it's very high coverage. It's easier to apply. It's not as messy as foundation. It just, if they made foundation in like stick form like this, I'd be like, hell yeah. I'm like, but also what's the difference? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, this is this this is looking really nice already. Um, now I'm gonna go in. You know, and some people like to do the eye makeup first. I like to apply foundation everything first, which is probably a bad idea, but I don't know. It's 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 a force of habit. It really is. I always just do the most like around here because that's where all of my acne scars are. And I've been meaning to, you know get it treated but like I also like feel like it's a lot cheaper just for it to heal naturally on its own and I honestly really need to clean my brushes it's very important to clean your brushes regularly so do as I say and not as I do and also that's common sense anyways you're probably like watching this video being like yeah duh yeah no shit <laughs> ah where did they go where did my blemishes go gone this look, this seems like an advertisement for <laughs> shake tape. I wish they would pay me one day, maybe one day. Imagine if I just like lied to people and was like, this is just my natural skin. <laughs> I'm just not. There's some girls that do that. And like, you know what? I don't even give them crap for it because it's like, you do you, girl. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go along the forehead. I have a rather big forehead. What is, is it called baking if I don't let it bake? Like if I just immediately like blend it in, does it count as baking? I don't know. But um, rather than using like foundation powder, I am going to be using a shade from the Paradise Enchanted palette, which I might use a lot of. Um, I'm getting a lot of inspiration from the Paradise Enchanted palette, but I feel like this is more for like a subtle natural makeup look. And I'm, I am going for something a little bit more dramatic, so I'm gonna use some of my sugar pill, and I'm just doing where my, where the shadow naturally happens to be, anyways. So it's like sweeping away, but also pressing it in. This is, <laughs> dude. This is like how they, the, you know, this is like how they do their makeup in those skincare commercials, where they're like. Do you want naturally bouncy skin like me? And it's like, girl, shut up. We know there's foundation there. Now what's next on my list and what I like to do next after this is the brows. I hate that the images flip too because I can't tell which brow I'm working on when I look at the viewfinder. And the Nikon Z6 camera actually doesn't have like that, that screen viewfinder that flips out like my other camcorder did, which had such terrible quality video, by the way. I don't know if you've seen my other YouTube videos, but it's like, it's so bad. It's like, ugh, compared to this. This is like really nice. What I find I like the most is connecting it to a television. And I'm actually looking at myself on the television right now, which is why I always kind of look off to the right, which I shouldn't do. I should be looking at you guys. I should be looking at the camera. Just take a little bit of gel. Usually I apply it with a spoolie. I just don't feel like it. I like lightly go over the top of it. It looks so bad right now. Trust me, trust the fucking process, man. I'm kind of like rubbing it in. Of course you want to do this before um, you apply any foundation or concealer. Eyebrows heavily affect how your, how your face looks and how it's framed and all that kind of stuff. So it, it just bothers me personally as a perfectionist when my brows are just like messed up just a tiny bit. And so when I put the gel on it, it keeps them in place. But I got a little bit of the medium sand um, tart shape tape. Um, yeah, and I'm just gonna carve my brows. All right, I have my brows done out and blended. I did skip over that part because it's just tedious. This is what we're aiming for. I'm not really good at makeup and I did this, so that should say something. Or maybe I am and I just have really low self-esteem, who knows? Let's get started. But yeah, I'm gonna try to match this eye with this eye. First, I'm gonna go over my lid. 
started with number seven from Paradise Enchanted. Um, I've had that palette for like few years. I was in love with the color scheme. Um, a lot of the shades um, suit my skin tone so well. And it smells, it's like peach scented. It's just so magical. It's like the Magical Girl palette, I swear to God. I'm gonna go over retrograde with the C2 palette. And that's gonna be kind of like a transition shade. Um, C2 palette again, this is gonna be a lot of warm colors. I tried involving some cool colors, it just didn't work out. But we're gonna take this little brush and do Young Blood. And we're just doing it over the middle of the lid, and then we'll spread it out later. Because, oh, you also wanna add some here too. Just gonna add a nub here and a nub here. And then put a little bit underneath your eye too. And the look is halfway done. Then we're gonna go over it with a darker shade, double shot. And you don't have to do a double shot over here and here. I'm just emphasizing this part. And I have to emphasize my crease because if not, um, I have very small almond shaped eyes. Um, I'm trying to like make my eyes look bigger. At the same time, if I try to make my eyes look bigger, I'll get canceled too. I don't know. I'm just trying to create a crease. So I am just my crease and then see how like I spread out like my crease here like okay so like I'm cutting my crease but like I'm spreading it out and then I'm swooping it down if that makes any sense Do that again with this part there we go and then it'll create kind of like a 3d fold a little bit so we're like adding a, another crease look like a Faye. <laughs> One of them is smearing, so I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. I do need a Q-tip, but I don't have one. That's bad, but it's whatever. Now we're just building in that other crease. One shot. I think we're just gonna go over it with number seven and then create kind of a gradient. Young blood and double shot, even though I wasn't able to make the last look work. Shh, don't tell nobody. It's not blended enough. So I do want to get back into content creation. I did take a break because I was just so emotionally exhausted. And you guys know like how easily I am exhausted of my energy and all that kind of stuff so i have to be very careful where i spend it oh yeah that looks freaking crazy cool i'm gonna emphasize this crease a little bit more because i notice it's a little bit more prominent on this side Ooh, yeah i just i did take another break and like here's the thing i always say I'm gonna start making YouTube videos and I never do because it takes a lot of time and energy to edit these and a lot of like well-established YouTubers, oops, no, accidentally put concealer over the part I didn't want any concealer to be over. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Anyways, yeah, it takes a lot of time and energy and effort to edit videos. That's why a lot of YouTubers hire people to edit their videos for them. Now a lot of people have offered to edit my videos for free, but I feel weird about having people do free labor for me. It just doesn't sit right with me and I feel like that's a scandal waiting to happen that's like asking to happen. I have a guilty conscience about people giving me free stuff. It just feels weird. Like maybe I could like get something for free for someone else, but for myself, no. Hell no. Um. over that part dude this is i need to do more looks like this this is actually really interesting and fun this is so cool do you see that and actually
actually like practice makes perfect because like this version looks so much better than the other version and I haven't even like made everything all crisp yet and yet it looks so cool and crisp so I'm just gonna wet an eyeliner brush and go back in with young blood and just cut the crease a little bit more the best hack ever that I like learned was that that you can mix water with um, eyeshadow and make colored eyeliner which is arguably cheaper than buying colored eyeliner okay I think the eye look is done I just need to add some final touches But yeah, I've been trying to get into YouTube and I keep on saying I do and then I get exhausted and exhausted and exhausted again and then I put it off. And I'm not making any promises like in my other videos because at least I'm mature enough to recognize that like sometimes I get distracted, sometimes I lose motivation, sometimes I get fatigued, sometimes I get tired. It's not easy doing content creation on top of like, um, other things that are going on in my life. When I made my first video, I, was, I had like a full-time job. Right now, I'm just doing art commissions and business collaborations and stuff like that. And then occasionally, I'll land a photo shoot, which is really freaking fun and awesome. Like the last photo shoot I did was for Sanrio. Um, ironically, this was after I got canceled um, for fetishizing Asian culture by calling a song by the rapper Cochise Kawaii. Then, but I thought it was just because I wasn't allowed to use the word. But some people said that it was like, I was using it like a slur or something. I wasn't allowed to say it because I was fetishizing their culture. And though I used it because kawaii is an adjective, um, and I did use it as an adjective to describe a song that was cute because I was presenting femininely while listening to the song and then I called the song kawaii and meant that I was fetishizing Asian culture. And then from like the other side of TikTok, like they said the same thing, but they also said that I wasn't allowed to call Cochise's songs kawaii because he is a rapper and he is a black man and so it is weird to call to associate femininity and cuteness with a Jamaican guy. Their reasoning was so strange, like I didn't quite understand. And I still stand by the fact that the song was very cute. Like it's got a very cute whimsical like theme to it. Cochise himself like, I've read articles where he draws a lot of inspiration from the anime and like the first line of the song which arguably are my favorite is when he said Tamagotchi in my pocket feeling fresh and it got to the point where people were so upset with me that they had deplatformed me and they reported my account on TikTok enough to where the entire account got taken down. Then like some journalists interviewed me. There was one from Vice Japan that had interviewed me. Um, another from a different um, news outlet that interviewed me that I still keep in touch with to this day. He's actually a really sweet guy. They ensured me that my use of the word was appropriate and that I was fine. Um, there was even like some Kauai ambassadors that were like, that had my back. My friend Mikan had my back. So there was a lot of people that, that had my back. And it was really nice, but it also sucked how it negatively affected my accounts. Um, when it came to TikTok, I had like 250K followers, all gone. Never seeing those followers again unless they coincidentally find me, which every now and then they do find my new TikTok account. They're like, oh my gosh, what happened? I thought I followed you or, oh, I found your new TikTok account. Some companies don't want to work with me anymore though because of the controversy, so I did lose a lot of money. Okay, so now that same technique with the eyeliner, I'm gonna use it for like my actual eye eyeliner, you know what I mean? This is the same water um, eyeshadow combination. This is still Youngblood. 
So we're just gonna go over my bottom waterline and then do like a cat eye with my top waterline. And so while I was talking, um, I did my inner corner and then I'm just doing my outer corner in. Boop, boop. Cute. Okay, that's, that's about like how I had it. Um, and we're only doing the outside of it and then kind of going along the lines here too. And you know what, it doesn't have to be perfect. I, I'm just gonna cut my eyeliner just like I cut everything. Like I'll take the concealer and just like erase all my mistakes and stuff like that. What was I gonna say? Yeah, like I like did not recover from that. And then I got like, my PTSD, like, I think I already had PTSD a little bit, but I feel like it just made it worse. And I saw a therapist about it and they had diagnosed me with a panic disorder, social anxiety, and PTSD. And I was like, whoa. But then also, if that didn't happen, I wouldn't have gotten medicated. So like, I'm also kind of happy that it happened. I mean, it's not like I'm cured of my, like, mental problems and stuff like that like you know i still have some like dark times but it's a lot better than when i wasn't medicated and i'm really grateful for that so some good did come of it which i'm really happy about um and now that that's happened i can kind of like get my life in order a little bit you know it's been hard trying to find motivation to do stuff like this like making videos the fact that the energy I have is really scarce, but it's also due to a lot of other things, like for example, my ADHD, which I actually get from my father, and he has it really bad too, but it makes it really hard for us to be productive. And because of that, I get called lazy, and oh, for a lot of my life, I thought I was lazy. Even though I tried my hardest to be productive, it was so easy to lose energy, to gain energy randomly, to get distracted really easily. It's just, it's no good. This eyeliner is running out. I'm so sad. This is my favorite eyeliner. I'm gonna have to use this freaking breakup. What is this called? Cause I'm gonna go over this with a um, skin colored, like this peach like eyeliner. I'm gonna go over my waterline. All right, this this is looking pretty good. Now we just need to do the mascara, so. And you could just use any mascara for this, but I would favor mascaras that emphasize length rather than volume. Those kind of brushes tend to be on the thin and long side. This is a perfect example, rather than the volume prioritizing brushes that are very thick and it's hard to really um it's hard to really navigate where you're going with that kind of mascara i mean it's all the same stuff it's all the same formula right it's just different brushes i like to use waterproof though sometimes i like to do this little curler thing oh my god i used to do that so much in high school and everyone thought i wore false lashes I think that's also because like I have naturally long lashes, but as long as they are, I wish my lashes were also naturally voluminous or voluminous. I don't know. I have very long lashes with very little volume to them. It's like SpongeBob where like I have like the three long eyelashes and then nothing else. And then there's like an eyelash trick that I actually learned from Trixie Mattel when she was doing a tutorial on how she like puts on her false lashes. And it like a lot of people make the mistake of brushing their um, mascara outward, like out like this. And that's cool if you want like a cat eye look, um, but I like to do it inward and outward because it just opens your eyes and makes it bigger. And that's what I want. I want to, I want to open my eyes. Every time I do my eye makeup, I try to, go along the natural shape of my eyes, but essentially I just want to open them and make them big. Okay, now that I got the mascara out of the way, blush. We're gonna take Retrograde from the C2 palette and then apply it to, um, I don't know, outer cheekbone, is that what this is called? 
Who knows? We're gonna apply it there. You can apply it other places if you don't have my same exact bone structure. I hate the idea that there's only one way to do makeup when everyone has different face types. Um, something that would enhance my cheekbones might not be the same for someone else's. So do what works for you. Blush how you would naturally blush, but if like you kind of have a similar face shape to me, I'd recommend this. You're gonna like kind of like plop the brush into not retrograde, but rather true blood from the C2 palette. And then just kind of like dot the apple of our cheeks. Just like that. Some people say to do it where your teeth, or like where you can feel where your teeth is, but I like to do it a little higher up. Ah! Just because it like outlines my cheekbones a little bit better. And then rather, rather than blending it out with the um, same brush that I used to do my blush, I'm actually gonna go over it with my brush that I use for my foundation. And the leftover foundation from there kind of like helps buff it out a little bit. Now, I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but that's what I do. And I'm not a professional, so if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Cute. Now, all we have to do is take some, I recommend some warm highlighter. Um, this is kind of like a golden highlighting shimmer from the Paradise Enchanted palette number five. And rather than applying it to my cheekbones, I'm actually going to apply it to where it's like just above my nasal labial fold, which is the fold that you naturally have right here. Um, and mine's not really too prominent, so I like to put it here because it it gives it a kind of a natural shine and it makes my skin look naturally dewy, which I really like. Then we're gonna also like brush, blush the forehead subtly, subtly, okay? And I use my blush as contour. I don't like to use contour. It's just like, I don't know, it's just too bold for me, you know what I mean? I think the blush is enough to use as contour, but I'm also going to just add it here. And I don't know why, but for some reason, adding it here just makes me, it looks weird at first, but then after you blend it out, it looks pretty. Buff it out. So after that, I'm wondering, should I, should I contour the nose or should I do the lips? When it comes to the lips, we're going to do the eyeshadow made to eyeliner by adding water method with True Blood from the C2 palette. And we are just going to fill in our upper lip. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, it's still drying, so it looks patchy, but it'll look fine after it dries. I'm going to do the same thing, but, well, I'm not going to do the same thing, but we're just going to outline the bottom lip and then blend it inwards rather than filling the whole lip. Okay, now we're gonna take this eyeshadow brush that's meant for blending. We're gonna put it in the number seven in the Paradise Enchanted palette and just blend it into what we just did here. And then finally, for the final touch, and this is something that um, I've been teased for by photographers because um, the first photographers that I used to work with as a model, they hated when I used this technique on my lips and they, th they said it looked weird and ugly, but I still do it because I like it. But I love adding just a little bit of highlighter to my lips. And I am using the golden shade of highlighter that I've been using for um, my cheek highlighter. And when it comes to small amounts, I just like to use my finger. Sometimes I use like a that one, like, I don't know how to describe it, but sometimes I use that one little tiny brush, but I don't have it with me right now. I lost it. So, you know, fingers are a fine substitute. I'm not gonna let nobody judge me for using my finger. Look, now I am going to add my lip gloss. And doing this is almost like glazing 
a, um, this is almost like glazing a piece of art. So it adds a nice shiny finish and it just looks so beautiful. Wow. I love it. I love it. Um, now time for nose contour. It's time for the nose contour. We're just going to be using the same shade that we would use for a regular blush. And what I'm doing is because I have like a naturally round Afrocentric nose, I'm just gonna like enhance like the natural shape of the nose. I know I used to like do it to where I would kind of do like, like that rhinoplasty, like snatched pointy nose type nose contour. And I think that was just because I was trying to achieve the look of like a cartoon character and like, it's, it's fine and all, but like every time like, I look up the tutorial on how to like contour my type of nose or just contouring noses in general, it's always the same like emphasize your nose bridge, make your nose pointy, and it's like, but that's not how my natural nose looks. So I've just been, I've just been like um, adding blush to just the top of my, the tip of my nose where it transitions into my nose bridge as well as where it transitions into my nostrils just to en enhance like the natural shape of my nose. And that's really all I would add to it. I, I just, I don't know. I like to do it because it, it adds just enough to where it adds the kind of splash of color that you need, but not so much to where it changes the shape of your nose. And I like to add the cherry on top, which is the golden highlighter that I've used to highlight my cheeks and my lips. And just put a little bloop there and a little bloop at the middle of my nose bridge. And that about finalizes the entire look. I, okay, so this is the final look. I really love it. Um, it's some of the flowers are sticking out of my pigtails, but that's totally fine. Like this one, this one will not face forward for the life of me, but you know what? It's fine. I really love this look. It's really cute. It's really beautiful in time for spring. like fluffy and sultry vibe to this song with the like beautiful melody it makes me feel like I'm floating through a cloud and I feel like a spring goddess so this is kind of the look that I had in mind and I love it so much um, and I also want to thank um, <laughs> I also want to thank Charlie, but I do want to thank you for approaching me for a collaboration. I had a lot of fun doing this, and I had a lot of fun talking and making friends with you. Um, you're really awesome, and I loved doing this look, and I loved collaborating with you, and we're going to have to do it again sometime, because this is really awesome. And I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, 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 uh. That'd be cool if I could like do a little... But like, the flowers are so heavy that they don't fall beautifully like petals. So it just falls all at once. It's like, blah. <laughs>